Hey, I'm Sarah, and on this channel, we share how to create realistic textures in nature and also document the process of what it's like to start up your own art business. Okay, it was really rainy earlier this morning, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be dry enough to paint today, but it looks like it has cleared up and we are going to be continuing our progress on the mural today. So we have our mermaid tails, which are great. We have the shipwreck in that's done, our divers, we have our trout. So this guy is going to be on a line that is gonna be another interactive part of the project. So we are going to have a fishing rod in here. Then in this section, if you're familiar with the Bruce Peninsula, we are going to have the lion's head lighthouse and then some of the rocks in this area. So the idea is that you can kneel down in front of the lighthouse with the fishing pole and pretend you caught the trout, which is so fun. So that's that part. Then we're gonna blend it into the forest and go into the Bruce Trail, which is great with a black bear. <laughs> and that's the, that's the update. So painting buildings is really hard for me. Some people can just do it and it's fine. I can paint animals really quickly. Buildings and structures take a lot of mental effort. So you're gonna see a lot of leveling and chalk as I try and really get the perspective of the angles of the lighthouse down. And we're gonna do really an orange yellow and a blue yellow, or a blue white, uh, to try and get the you know sunset side and the shadow side of the lighthouse. So it's a, quite a colorful lighthouse for it being white. Um, but yeah, the Lion's Head Lighthouse is just iconic. I grew up going there ever since I was a little girl, so I have tons of pictures with the old version. This is actually the new one because it got destroyed two years ago in a storm. So it was a big mental debate on which one to paint. But anyway, we went with the new lighthouse, so it doesn't have the red door, which was iconic, but it does have all of the red railings and the kind of red edges on the structure. So those were kind of fun to paint and get in there and uh, it's got the red roof, which is fun. And I really wanted to add in all of the lines, like the vertical lines on the brick of the lighthouse. So you can kind of see that uh, there is a bit of texture. It's a little harder with the lighting here because the sun was doing funny things for the time-lapse, but yeah. And then we have the railing at the top edge and then we kind of go around and add in all the rest of the details. So we have a very warm sunset cast uh, lighthouse and we take the chalk away, which is my favorite part, as always. And now we're just kind of cleaning up some of the edges and making sure some of the brickwork on the lighthouse stands out. So you can kind of see some variation in texture. Okay, now we're doing the fishing pole. I looked at a lot of pictures of fishing pole. I haven't gone fishing in a really long time, so I, uh, I wasn't sure what kind of style of rod to do. But anyway, we used the level and really tried to get the arc. So we went with a nice kind of deep brown, natural looking color. And I'm using a sword brush, like a regular sword brush I would use on canvases here to try and get the finer line. And now we're adding a kind of a warmer brown tone at the top to get the highlight in. And I used my paintbrush to measure the little, uh, you know, hooks where the line goes through on the rod. They kind of get closer together as you move towards the tip of the fishing pole. Okay, we are on the job site. Sorry if it's noisy because I am right beside a pretty major road. Moment of silence. Okay, so today on the mural, we are going to be putting in rocks below the lighthouse. I don't always do these more talking introduction videos, but over there, my time-lapse camera is running. So we'll be able to do voiceovers for the whole footage and we'll get better at vlogging work. Uh, it's so funny, yesterday was the Monday of the long weekend and a four-year-old, uh, their parents had them come and get a picture with the fishing pole and then they had to get dragged away like pretty much screaming because they didn't want to leave. Anyway, it was super, super funny and really, really sweet. So good response for the mural so far. And we're gonna paint some rocks now. I forgot I had this little story recorded. Anyway, yeah. So we're gonna go in and get into the rocks and then basically the whole four hours I was painting these little rocks. 
I was just thinking of how I was going to paint a butterfly on them at the end. Last Thursday, I had a film at the Roxy Theatre in Owen Sound for Earth Day, all about monarch butterfly migration and how they really funnel up the Bruce Peninsula. So I really wanted to add a monarch butterfly in to try and, you know, signify this really cool species that does this ridiculous migration all the way down to Mexico. And their whole life cycle is, is fascinating. It's every fourth generation that flies all the way to Mexico. So anyway, monarch butterflies are fascinating. Definitely look them up. But yeah, we have them all over in the Bruce Peninsula during the summer months. So I really wanted to kind of show uh, them. So we have one warming itself and sending itself on the rocks that we get to uh, eventually. But yeah, so to paint these rocks, we really are just using dark colors, highlight colors. We're using the orange color from the sunset as well to add some of the highlights in. We have a little Anukshuk in there, which you'll see classic everywhere on the Bruce. So there's some history culture in there. And the footage, my camera turned off and I didn't know, so we missed a lot of the rocks, you know, getting painted. But this is what they look like. And uh, now we're into the butterfly. So basically I sketched it out with chalk and then I wanted to do the gradient and the orange and red tones first and then add the lines on top. So after adding the outline to the butterfly, we really wanted to make sure we got the proportions good. So I went back and forth with the orange and red colors and the black to really get this, you know, pretty exact. And I'm using the tiniest liner brush there to get the webbing of the wings in. So this butterfly did take a significant amount of time to paint, but you really just want to have some key highlight features when you're doing a big mural like this. So a lot of the elements are gonna be background details, and then every section you wanna kind of have a few things that you put time into that are gonna be really impressive and get people talking about the painting and the project and visiting the spot to check it out because that's what your uh, clients want as the advertisement to their effort. So then super fun, we go back in with white and add all the spots to the wings, which really brings the whole detail of the butterfly together. And then you take the chalk off and it just looks really, really cool. Okay, so this is the end of the day of us painting rocks. It took a bit longer than I thought to do this section of the mural, but uh, rocks are complicated, so that's okay. And uh, yeah, we have added a monarch butterfly right in here, which is super fun. So that's my extra detailed element, just to kind of tie in the sunset sky and all the colors of this section. Yeah, so super fun. So tomorrow we are going to start, I think, with the cliff face. So we're gonna paint the rocks all in here, and then we'll do the transition into the forest and then the rest. <laughs> All right, and this is going to conclude our video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We are going to end with some clips from next week's video where we continue painting the mural. So I hope you enjoy this sneak peek footage and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the video next week. We'll see you soon.